time to start the captain. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, as you can probably see here, we no longer have a bed. All right, and that's because I was all ready to start doing the captain. Well, I wasn't actually going to do the captain, but I was gonna maybe do the captain this week. And then my good friend, Greg Twat, he told me that in order to do the carpet, Sam, you need to remove the bed. And I said, what, do I need to remove the bed? He says, yeah, he says, you can't do it without removing the bed. And I'm like, oh, what? It's all on gas struts. It's all riveted and bolted down. And I was like, I do not want to take this bed out. However, I have done. But I've left these gas struts in, which are riveted in the top, because there ain't a cat and ale's chance that I am going to drill those rivets out and try and replace them. So all I did was remove the bolts from the pieces of wood, remove the wood, and here we are, Bob's your uncle. <clears throat> so now that should be ready for carpeting. So this is the carpet we've gone for, which is kind of a graphite colour, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, just a dark grey, that's going to go on the walls. And then here we have the wood laminate flooring, but that's for another episode. We're not going to try and tackle too much this week, Sam. So yeah, I've got the state of this room. It's just full of crap. Right, let's crack on. Hello everyone, Captain. Captain today. Hello. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> You've done one job through this whole process. Hello everyone, welcome back another day. Today, we're gonna to attempt the carpeting on the walls. Not looking forward to this, but I think I'm well prepped. We've degreased, I don't know if this is the right stuff, but it's got degrease on it. Good old Dettol. <laughs> degreased all the metalwork. About to take all the rubber trims off of the windows and their door seals and edge the fan forward so we can open the tailgate and then let's get started. Yeah, I'm actually quite excited about this one. Don't know why. <laughs> Yeah. Famous last words. Hopefully it all goes well. Look at the precision. I just wanted to check see how far I'm meant to do it, if I'm meant to cap it right to the edge like that, or if I'm meant to cap it a bit further in. Something else for you to clean. The carpet. I've got 12 tins of this. This is the adhesive. Do you like doing this? Is it nice? It's not that bad. I'm quite enjoying it, but it is a bit nerve-wracking. A bit therapeutic, but a bit, bit nervous as well. A bit nerve-wracking, but yeah, it's not too bad. Pleased with the progress so far? So far, so good. Woohoo, thumbs up. <laughs> Harder than you thought it was going to be? Um, easier. Yeah, it's looking good, isn't it? If it sticks, it will come apart. So far, so good. So far, blooming good. Very well done. Trusty wooden spoon. 
Where did you get that idea from? YouTube. Some guy. I forgot his name. I'll try and remember and link it. It's quite handy. He did a nicer job than me. Yeah, but it's good at getting into the little crooks and crannies. It's nuts and crannies. Ah, oh. <laughs> nuts and crannies. Hello. Hello. How are you getting on? Yeah, not too great. It's not gone the best. <laughs> oh. Got a bit of a bulge here that I don't know how to get rid of, so I'm going to have to cut that and have a joint. But it's going to be hidden and all that anyway, so I'm not too fussed. But other than that, it's not too bad. The wheel arch is done, it looks good. The wheel arch is alright. It's quite a lot of bobbles in it, but again, you're not going to see it. It's going to be underneath underneath the garage. But it's not bad for a first attempt. The main bits are these bits and these columns and they look all right to me so. Yeah this bit looks really good. Smooth. Yeah. It's hard work. Better show the detailing on that there. This? Yeah. Not that close. <laughs> there you go. Along the top and then this little corner. My favourite little shelf. I like this little bit here when we're in the top bed. Anyway, we're almost done for today, aren't we, so... Yeah, just tidying up now. Tidying up the loose ends and then all this side to do tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Your favourite spot, isn't it? Oh. Why do you like this pool? This is so cute. Hold on. everyone just gonna show you what we finished off last night quite pleased with myself so yeah not bad I'm quite impressed with that it was quite difficult but not overly difficult it was achievable obviously didn't do a perfect job as you can see there's quite a lot of overspray with the glue i hope that'll just come off not really sure but anyway it is what it is it's going to be hidden anyway so i'm not that bothered but everywhere else that's going to be seen i am pretty damn happy with myself yeah even went to the extra length of doing this bar up the top which i don't think i needed to but so yeah i'm very impressed with it to be fair all we need to do now is put the roof back on as in the bed which we're going to try and do today and yeah jobs are good very impressed with myself i'm getting all confused so i need to put this bed back on i need to find the screw holes through this carpet which i think i've found for where the struts go there and there that's why i put this tape there you see because i'm smart well, i think i'm smart anyway but yeah getting all dithery and then i've got all these screws over here and bolts and whatnot i have to figure out which ones go where i forgot to write it down but i think i'm sorted so now just got to get it in, haven't we? Just got to get it in. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a bit of a chew, is that, isn't it? That's mm. what she said. Yeah, right, let's go on. We'll see. Oh, it's going to be hard, especially with you. 
What does that mean? <laughs> well, it's a very heavy piece of wood. Because I'm weak. Well, no, it's a very heavy piece of wood. I don't know if you're going to lift it with me. Maybe we'll have to see. Well, we'll, give it we'll a go. see. I'll put this camera down and we shall give it a yeah, go. We'll give it a go. This now needs to go back in the van. Seriously. <laughs> going to have to come up with a second solution. Managed it. <laughs> that was easier than I thought. Right, now you can push it towards me. If you can. Oh god! Do you want to do it somewhere? I actually can't. Why not? Uh -huh. Is it the carpet? You're doing it too much. I'll push it. Right, okay, you push and I'll pull. <laughs> go on. There we go. Give it a bit more of a push. A bit more. That's it. <sighs> That's it. Well done. Oh, it's got cat hair on it. I know it would, love to oh, hoover gross, it. Man. Oh, that cat, eh? Love to hoover it. The carpet match isn't that bad, actually. When it's up, you don't even know it. It's almost identical. Yeah. You can't even tell. Oh, God, it looks too much carpet, doesn't it? <laughs> It'll be covered in wood, don't worry. Well, I don't know what's that mean, but I don't think I could keep it in store. Yeah, it's not a deal. <laughs> A few moments later. What are you doing now? Just relaxing because that was a pain in the ass to put that bed back. Trying to marry up the screws with the holes when you have to lay on the bed to screw it in. You can't marry up anything because you can't move anything because you're laid on the bed with this much headroom. And try to find the holes underneath the carpet. Damn near impossible. Oh. I figured it out. The washers that were existing are really big, thick washers. Like really big, thick washers. So it wasn't getting down enough to bite into the metal to start screwing in. So it was just screwing on the top. It wasn't actually going in. I thought it wasn't actually marrying up with any of the holes, but I think it was. It was just couldn't get its biting point. So I changed the washers to thinner ones, and now it works. About an hour of that, maybe more. Where is it? Time? Should have been a ten-minute job. No, I'm still not finished. We've got to put the gas trucks in now. Oh, I'll put my tux what? first. Snickers first. What did I say? Give it some looks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what it says. Alright, see you in a bit. He goes around the back. All you're doing is trapping it so it doesn't, so the nut won't continue turning the bolt as well. It's easier if you turn it around. That, yeah, that use that. Yeah, it should be lefty loosey right tighty. Yeah, that's it. Is it tightly? Yeah. Right, so we're just going to. Oh my god! Right, bit of a chew. Finally did it though. Pretty impressed. Bed's back up. Looking pretty swish. Carpeting done. I mean. Get some sort of award for this. Brilliant, brilliant. First time. So pleased with myself, honestly. So things I recommend if you're going to attempt this yourselves, now that I'm a seasoned professional, is number one, definitely wear a mask because the glue very toxic. Number two, obviously you need a tape measure just to measure the length that you need. Number three, get yourselves a wooden spoon because that helps to get into contours. A piece of card to protect the rest of your van from the glue do a much better job than I did because I didn't do a very good job at all. The most important thing that most people don't seem to mention is that you need obviously a Stanley blade but not one with your traditional straight edge. I'd recommend you get one with a hook blade which is a professional carpet fitter's blade. So can you see that? Yeah? So get one with a professional carpet fitter's blade. You're probably going to need about five or six of these. You do go through them quite a lot. But what that allows you to do is, because it's hooked like that, it gets underneath the carpet. And then as you go along, it doesn't either scar the metalwork or cut anything that you don't want to cut, such as the canvas. <laughs> Gotta be very careful around the edges. It's very, very hard. But yeah, just take time, honestly. That's all I recommend, take time. And yeah, it's easy enough. It's not that bad. 
I'm quite impressed with myself to be fair. Don't get me wrong, it is stressful, but definitely worth it in the end. I'm going to end the video there because next week we're going to concentrate on the electrics and I thought this video is probably just going to be about the carpet because it did take a lot longer than I anticipated. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see how we get on with the rest of the build, consider subscribing, hit the bell, all those nice things that will put smiles on our faces and we shall see you in the next video. Thank you.